Churchill, in one of his ingenious quotes, once said about democracy, he said, indeed, the democratic system is the worst form of government, but it's better than any other form that has been, has been tried before. You know, in life, one's strength is one weakness. What is the strength of democracy making it the best system? That, of course, it gives the power to the people. Every se- one person, one vote. Every person uh, ha- plays a role in what society will be and what the electorate will be. But that is its weakness. It nurtures politicians who, in order to get elected, as opposed to dictators, who can say whatever they want to, in order to get elected, a democratic politician has to tell people what they want to hear. So much so that it's known about an Israeli prime minister many years ago who once when he changed his mind was asked, How, but, but you promised something different in your election campaign. He said, yes, I promised, but I didn't promise that I would fulfill what I said or uh, you know, read my lips, no taxation. Somehow the democratic uh, electees have to tell people what they want to hear. And there are so many people and so many views and therefore you so often are not saying what you mean. You're saying what people want to hear. In fact, in in survey after survey, politicians are amongst the least trusted people in Western society because unfortunately, as opposed to dictators, they have to tell people what they want to hear. But we have to be careful, as great a system as it is, we have to be careful in politics and in life, that we have to be people of integrity, people who what we say is indeed what we mean. People of integrity, people of honesty. And this is exactly what is said in the beginning of the parish about the Aaron. The most important of all of the, uh, the, the kalim, the vessels of the building of the Mishkan, of course, was the Aaron. And we know they have this unusual anomaly that the Aaron is the only kli, which is not only gold on the outside, but it's also gold on the inside. That's a waste of material. On the outside, yes, the whole Mishkan has to be mechubad uh, and dignified for people to see. It's the Mishkan of God. But why on the inside? Why is this the only vessel that needs to have gold on the inside? And famously, Rashi brings the Midrash, it's actually the Gemari Masichet, Yuma Daf Ayin Bet, which says to teach us a very, very powerful lesson that uh, says the Gemara, that that pivli bo shavim, tochokavar any Talmud Chacham, just like the Aaron, which encapsulates the Torah and the Aser that he brought, just like it's gold on the outside, it has to be gold on the inside. What they say on the outside, how they present themselves, is what they are on the inside. We have to be people of integrity. And this is exactly what the Rambam says in Hilchot Deot applies not only to every Talmud Chacham, a scholar, but to every person, every Jew. We have to be people who say what we mean and mean what we say. Even in times that we are challenged to tell people what they want to hear and to manipulate the truth, we have to be people in all of our interactions. When we open our mouths, we genuinely have to search our hearts and ensure that what we say is what we mean, and what we mean is what we say. Shabbat Shalom.